Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take a landscape photo and make it into something really dramatic in Lightroom. We post new videos and resources every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also, sign up for the email list at newlayer.com to get special offers that are for subscribers only. Let's get started. So here's the before and here's the after, and I'm gonna take you through my workflow in the order that I did things to really enhance the color and atmosphere of this landscape. New Layer members can download this photo in the project files at newlayer.com, but you can obviously apply the things that you learn in this video to your own landscapes. So I'm gonna click the before photo and hide these thumbnails. And the first thing I wanna do is change the color temperature. So this was taken really early in the morning at sunrise, so the sun was really orange. So I'm gonna come over and increase the temperature. And around 7600 looks good. And then I'm gonna adjust the exposure to what it looked like in the morning. So I'm gonna take that down to about negative 0.7. Next, I wanna bring back some of the details in the highlights and the shadows. So I'm gonna take the highlights down to about negative 50 or so and increase the shadows to about 20. Next, I'm gonna add some contrast. So I'm gonna come over to the white slider and increase that to about 45, and then decrease the blacks to about negative 25. So already, if you look at the before and the after, you can see that we've added a nice tone to the image and increased the contrast and clarity. To further increase the clarity, I'm gonna come down to the texture slider and increase that to about 25, and do the same thing with the clarity slider. And it was a little foggy when I took this photo, so you can see in the far mountains, there's a fair bit of haze. So I'm gonna come over to the dehaze slider and set that to about 25 as well. Next, I'm gonna come into the effects panel and add a vignette. I'm gonna take the amount down to about negative 10, and I want the vignette only to affect the outer edges, so I'm gonna increase the midpoint from 50 to about 75. Next, I'll come into the calibration panel, and a lot of people don't even use this panel, but it's kind of a hidden secret when you wanna add a little bit of a split tone effect or special coloring to your image. So if I come over to the red primary hue slider and take that all the way to the right, you can see that it adds a lot of yellow to the image, and if I take it all the way to the left, it adds a lot of magenta. I wanna shift this image towards the yellow side, so I'm gonna to shift to the right to about 25. Under the green primary hue slider, if I shift it all the way to the right, things become a little more red, and if I shift it all the way to the left, they become a little more green or yellow. So I'm looking for the orange look, so I'm gonna take the green primary to the right to about plus 15. Lastly, if I come down to the blue primary slider and shift that all the way to the left, it becomes very red, and if I go to the right, it becomes very green. I'm gonna to go to about negative 25 just to add some red into the image. So the two parts of a landscape are basically the earth or lake or whatever your terrestrial subject is, and then the sky. And they're usually so different in color, contrast, and brightness in most cases that you have to process the sky independently. And that sounds a lot harder than it actually is. So I'm gonna come up and choose my graduated filter. And I'm gonna drag from the sky to the earth so the middle of the line is touching the horizon. And what I wanna do is warm up the sky and decrease the exposure and give it a little more clarity. So I'm gonna come over and increase the temperature by about five and then I'll shift the tint towards magenta by about 5 too. I'll bring the exposure down about a third of a stop, so negative 0.33 or so, and then I'll increase the texture a little bit as well as the clarity. Then I'll increase the dehaze by a bit and add some saturation. So if I close that graduated filter, you can see that it really makes the sky a whole lot more dramatic. So again, here's the before and the after. That's it for now guys, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know what video you wanna see next. We create content based on your feedback, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.